Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna be talking about Shout Factory's newest release, Dawn of the Dead. But before we do that, if you guys are into 4K reviews, movie reviews, some tech, some video game stuff, and now we are doing podcast. Yes, that's right, podcast. But if you're into all that, then please consider liking and subscribing because we do all that here. So in 2004, the powers that be gave us Dawn of the Dead. Now, George A. Romero, he made the original Dawn of the Dead movie. And, you know, that has been a cult classic. That has been one of the greatest horror movies of all time and one of the best, arguably still the best, zombie movie of all time. But in 2004, Zack Snyder got his hands on the property and he was able to make his own movie and we got Dawn of the Dead 2004. So now this one's a little interesting. Now, it's based on a screenplay by George A. Romero. However, James Gunn actually did the screenplay for this and Zack Snyder directed it. Now, I always get Zack Snyder and James Gunn mixed up and, and confused sometimes. What? I'm not sure why I do that, but I just, I confuse them and I, I think James Gunn does, did like all the the DC stuff or or the the Superman stuff, but it was really Zack Snyder and um, vice versa. But now he is doing it, so it's it just gets very confusing to me, and I don't know why because they're they're, they're similar but different at the same time. And Zack Snyder actually came back to this franchise with a spiritual successor, which was Army of the Dead, which was a Netflix exclusive uh, last year or two years ago now. But that was an awesome movie also, that's on Netflix. You should check that out if you enjoyed this. So with a theatrical runtime of 101 minutes and with an unrated extended cut at of 110 minutes, which is the one I watched, we get Dawn of the Dead. And you know, this is your run of the mill zombie movie. There's an outbreak, everyone takes shelter. They're trying to survive. There's good people, there's bad people, there's zombies. And it's just overall a great time. You know, I, I'm, this is a matte movie. This is something I really, really enjoy. This is my type of movie. I love this kind of stuff. I think Zack Snyder did a fantastic job with this. I really like this movie a lot. I actually haven't watched this movie in a really long time. This was one of my first Blu-rays ever. I had the original Blu-ray. I just sold it off recently, but I had the original Blu-ray where it had like that silver high definition logo on the, the top or bottom. And I just got rid of it because when Shout Factory did their sale, I picked up the Blu-ray copy because they've had this ad on Blu-ray for quite some time. So I said, you know what, I really like the movie. It's not on 4K. Let me grab the Blu-ray. And a couple days after I bought this, this was announced. So here we are. However, this Blu-ray is included in the box here, but we'll get to that. So a few things about the movie that I really enjoyed. Uh, Tom Savini popped up in the movie. He was in a... A commercial on the TV, he played like some sheriff and he was like the badass sheriff. He had a couple minutes of dialogue, but it, it was pretty cool to see Tom Savini pop up in this. I love when he pops up in uh, like all horror movies generally. Like he was in um, From Dust Till Dawn with uh, Robert Rodriguez's movie. Tom Savini pops up in so many things, it's awesome. I love seeing uh, Tom Savini pop up in just random stuff. Also, another thing that was really cool, there was a, I guess, a, not so much a montage scene. I guess you could say montage. It's just halfway through the movie where they're just showing how everyone passes the time. They, uh, they played a little musical number. Originally, the song is called Down With The Sickness, and it's from uh, Disturbed. However, if you guys are familiar with Richard Cheese, that uh, he does, like, parody music, I guess you could say. You know, he... He'll remix it, but he sings it in like a like a Frank Sinatra like, or jazz type tone to it. And it's just, you know, you got the piano in the back, you got the saxophone, and it's just like that. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Get up, come on, get down with... It, it's, I just, you gotta look up Richard Cheese. He's really funny. Um, it, awesome music, and he did Down With The Sickness, and they did a montage with that and I thought that was pretty cool. So overall, I really do enjoy this movie. This is a fun movie, you know, um, and also it takes place 90% in a mall. Like, the mall is like one of my favorite settings for a zombie movie, or just even any movie, even like 80s movies, you go back to the mall and you see all the neon colors and stuff. I just, I think a mall is a really, really great set piece for 
any movie and I really enjoy the scenes that take place in the mall in this which is almost the entire movie. Then you had Andy with the gun store across the street and they were talking back and forth to each other with the whiteboards. They were playing chess and they were uh, calling out celebrity names that the zombies looked like and they were shooting at them. Just really cool. I, I think they had a great time making this movie and I had a great time watching the movie. So overall I would give the movie itself like an 8. Maybe an eight and a half out of ten. It, it's a really fun movie. If you're into zombie movies, I think you should check this one out if you haven't seen it yet. Let's talk about the 4K. So like I said, I have a long history with this movie on physical media. I had the original Blu-ray, then I upgraded to the Scream Factory Blu-ray, which I actually haven't even opened yet. And it doesn't look like I'm gonna because it's included in this 4K set. Now one thing I wanted to notice, the box art is different, and generally when Scream Factory does their uh, their Blu-ray to 4K releases, it, they don't always change the box art, but um, I, I appreciate that here. However, I almost like the Blu-ray one a little bit more, just because it's different, because I think this is the theatrical poster, and uh, it would have been pretty cool to maybe get something like this, or some maybe re reversible art, or switch them up on the inside, or something like that, but that's not what we got here. We have... Just the traditional theatrical poster. Pull that slip cover off. Same thing on the inside. Once you pop this open, we have our three discs. So on 4K, we have the unrated cut of the movie only on 4K. Then we move over to Blu-ray and the Blu-ray theatrical cut. So you get unrated and theatrical both on Blu-ray and just the unrated on 4K. Also, same disc art on all three discs, but uh, it does say 4K right there in big bold letters, so can't get them mixed up. However, it would have been nice to maybe change the colors or something like that. And also, no reversible cover art, so that is a bummer. Especially like with these collector's edition with the slip covers, they generally have reversible cover art, not in this case. All right, visuals. So right off the bat, um, I do wanna say over the previous Blu-ray, which is still included in this set, it's an upgrade, but I wouldn't say the biggest upgrade. Um, if you have this Blu-ray and you're happy with it, I don't think you need to run out and go get this. With that being said, there is some scenes that look very, very good, and there are some scenes that look very, very okay. Now, I don't know if that's the choice of cameras they used to shoot this on. I don't know if that was the director Zack Snyder's vision to have some scenes look like this, but some scenes looks like they had like a weird blue filter on it where some scenes looked very natural. It was kind of all over the place, but you know, it didn't really take me out of it, but it also is not the best 4K presentation I've ever seen. So I just want to get that out there. Um, it, it's not a bad disc at all by any means. It, uh, I still think it looks really, really good. Is it worth the upgrade at the 27 bucks over the previous Blu-ray? Maybe not. I mean, again, if you have that Blu-ray, you might want to hang on to that, wait for a sale. If uh, if you're a huge, huge fan and you have to have it, then I don't think you'll be disappointed because it is, I would say, maybe 5 to 10% better than the previous Blu-ray. I've said this in other videos. This, is, this one is kind of like a scene-for-scene scene basis where some scenes look really really great and some scenes look just okay but also i want to note i'm reading on the back and it says it's a new 4k restoration because this does have dolby vision they did a 4k restoration of the original camera negative and then only the 4k is the unrated version so with the unrated version they clipped in all the extended scenes which are not technically a new scan. It says that they were unrated inserts from the 2K digital intermediate. So those could be the scenes that actually change from the 4K scan to the unrated scenes which were only a 2K intermediate scan. So that could be what I was seeing where I would notice like the, I wouldn't say drop in quality, but just a different visual presentation than what the rest of the movie was. Again, there was only a handful of scenes and the unrated movie is nine minutes longer than the theatrical. So 
that pretty much adds up in my head for the scenes that I noticed that I would say, yeah, I guess about nine minutes worth of stuff makes sense, you know? So that's probably exactly what I was seeing. I was noticing the 2K intermediate step down from the new 4K scan. So I just wanted to put that out there. Now the theatrical by itself is not on 4K. You're gonna get the same Blu-ray that's in here. So just keep that in mind. So overall visually, I, I think they did a very good job with this. Again, it's just, I wish they would have just did the 4K scans of the deleted scene or the extended scenes just to kind of make it all level and, and fit together. But again, it does not take you out of it. It's not a huge jump. Some people might not even notice it. But if you're really looking for it, you can find where they made the cuts and you can tell where the different cameras were used or the, the different scans, I should say. Audio, DTS 5.1 Master Audio. Sounded really, really good. This is a fantastic audio track. Uh, I was a little surprised they didn't do a Dolby Atmos track when I saw that they were doing Dolby Vision, but still I think the audio track didn't really need it to be upgraded to the Atmos. Although I would have loved an Atmos track, I still think this DTS 5.1 sounded really great because it made perfect use of all my speakers and uh, I was very, very happy with the audio track here. And actually I was quite surprised because I was like, ah, oh, you know, it's not an Atmos track. That's a bit of a, a bummer, but you know, it proved me wrong and it sounded great. As far as all the special features, there's an audio commentary on the 4K disc, but all the other special features are going to be divided up onto both Blu-ray discs that are included in this set. So none of the 4K, none of the special features are on 4K. They're all gonna be on the Blu-ray discs. So overall, I think this is a great release. Uh, I really enjoy this movie. I think they did a very good job with the disc. Uh, it, it is a nice new scan. Dolby Vision is always welcome in my eyes. It is definitely a step up over that Blu-ray. However, I don't think you need to run out and go upgrade this right away. If you have the previous Shout Factory Blu-ray, you might wanna hang on to that for a while and catch their next sale and pick it up. Cause I don't think this is a day one uh, although I do really, really love this movie. And if you don't have it at all, then yes, go for the 4K if this is your first time owning it. But if you're looking to upgrade and you want to save some money, put it somewhere else, that's not a bad idea. But if you absolutely need to have it, then I still don't think you'll be disappointed. So either way, it's not a bad buy. I just recommend picking it up on sale if you already own it. But with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing because that is the best way to help us out. Also, if you don't mind sharing this video and checking out our podcast on all podcast platforms. We do movie reviews on there where we get real in depth into the plot and just kind of recite the entire movie almost into an hour. You know, we'll, we'll crush it down into an hour. Me and John will go back and forth on it. And uh, you know, we just have a great time bullshitting about a movie for about an hour. So. Check us out. Let's talk entertainment and media on all podcast platforms. But until next time, guys, have a great day.